Jonesy, not a vintage edition of the Oakley Play, but tell you what, it's a fast race. There's a bit of speed in this one. They go like Oakley Platers after all. Yeah, very true. Very fast race. Uh, they're going to be fighting it out. And um, I'm hoping that it means the uh, the horses coming from midfield will feature. So I've gone with number eight, Benny. Benadetta, my girl. Uh, she was a little bit okay-ish, I'd say. A little bit mid towards the end of her spring prep. But, geez, I'm just trying to envision her running down the Flemington straight like she did in the autumn. And she absolutely brained them. If she can translate that to Caulfield, 53 kilos on her back, Daniel Stackhouse has been wasting away for this race. <laughs> Benny on top for me. She's double figures, 10 bucks for the good people at Ned's. Draws well. She'll run a good race. Now, my second pick. A little bit of a naughty boy. <laughs> Tell me more about him. <laughs> My on top selection, King's Gambit. Uh, first up, not going to be, on, uh, not going to lie to you, it is a little bit of a concern uh, because, but the way I'm actually viewing it is they're actually protecting him from the handicapper. They didn't want him to get any higher weight at all, so because they'd have to start him in a, you know, a black type race. So, uh, King's Gambit, would I have preferred him second up? Yeah. But does he have the does he have the brilliance to win this from Barrier One with Jamie Carr on board, the best fifty kilo jockey out there? Yeah, he does. So King's Gambit on top. Uh, I'm a believer of the hype. I think he could be the best sprinting three year old that we have out of frankly a pretty mid crop. Uh, what about the South Australian visitor Screeper? Is he in your numbers? Screeper is in my numbers. Yeah. Um, I've got him running into fourth. He was brilliant last start. He's been absolutely flying this prep and he might be the best looking horse in Australia. Very good looking horse um, out of Lonro. So Screeper, uh, South Australia, Froggy knew it. They're both due for group one. So <laughs> he'll run well. Um, third pick though, my girl is Fura. Yep. Um, I just think she's been weighted out of this race, mate. I, I, I find it a bit bizarre that this was the target, but she's a rung below our best. So Really, if she's going to nab a group one, it's probably either going to be against her own sex or in a handicap. But yeah, I, I could be eating my words, but she might be weighted out of this one. And, and gate 11 for her is very tricky. Um, she could be caught three wide the trip. Who knows? But um, they're my numbers. Yep. Uh, so I'd scrape her in for second. I have skew if into third. I think she's the best roughie. Only group one winner in the field. Uh, she could steal this easy draw. Willow on board. Doesn't overthink it on the, on the uh, big priced horses there. And then, yeah, as for her, I was quite frankly disgusted by her first up run. Yeah. Yeah, you and everyone else in Australia, <laughs> mate. So uh, I won't be on, but she's one of the classiest horses in the race. 